it is always a good day to break out a Strybog. And we got a really special one to show you here today. This is the new K coming in from Gun Zone Deals. Let's check it out. Woo, baby. All right. Well, let's get after it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo, baby. All right. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. All right, got a very special Strybog to show you here. Um, look, the, the Strybog has not been without its, uh, <laughs> you know, let's just say growing pains and teething issues, um, but I think the, the gun, this platform really has come full circle in a lot of great ways and we are gonna dive into this a bit. Um, I would like to thank our friends at Gun Zone Deals for sending this particular um, example out for us. We we're actually one of the first people to get a, a hold of one of these. Granted, not the first people put videos out because sometimes our video queue takes a little bit of time, uh, but they were nice enough to send one of these out for us to check out because you guys know we're a big fan of the Strybog. So Gun Zone Deals sent this one over because they, they knew we'd want to check it out. And there's also some things that I kind of want to show you as well. Remember when we, uh, we, we did the whole thing with the magazines, right? You know, there, there was a, an, some minor teething issues with some of the early Strybog magazines and they were more of the straight configuration. You notice now they have curved magazines for the Strybog, and that helps uh, get rid of some of those feeding issues, primarily feeding issues that were occurring with some of the more hollow point variety of ammunition. Um, so uh, the folks at uh, Gun Zone Deals and many others are selling these mags now with the curve in them. So that kind of helps you know, get that situation uh, in check and handled. This is the SP9A3 variant, which means it is the delayed roller or the roller blowback uh, systems super 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 smooth recoil so it's not a blowback uh, they did have the earlier a1s that were blowbacks uh, and this is a k model so compared to the standard Strybog, it is much shorter which is nice this one has a collapsible uh, brace on it and that gets nice and tiny look at that it looks like something that would belong in a movie <laughs> kind of a movie gun you just push this plunger down and you get your brace all the way out here uh, you've got the same functionality in terms of the very basic bolt stop that you push up on either side. So you have an ambidextrous bolt stop, ambidextrous magazine release that can be gotten to from either side of the gun, as well as an ambidextrous uh, safety, of course. Now, one thing about the Strybog, you can't go from left to right hand ejection, so it's right hand eject only, but the gun can be set up and used for a left-handed shooter, um, no problem. Uh, this particular one is threaded half by 28 at the muzzle. Uh, we've opted in this particular one just to run it loud, uh, just so we don't introduce any additional variables into the uh, situation. It's a polymer lower. Um, so it's not a very wide gun at all. It's very slim. This one does have a uh, non-reciprocating charging handle. That was one uh, popular thing people were asking about in terms of an upgrade on that. Um, very smooth bolt, very smooth recoil impulse. Um, this particular gun is wearing a Crimson Trace Rad Max Pro. Uh, this is one of their newer ruggedized optics that's intended more for PCCs, ARs, uh, AK pistols, things like that. I mean, basically any type of a uh, you know, modern platform with a pick rail you want to be able to drop a red dot on, uh, the Crimson Trace is great for that, and we've had very good luck with these. And uh, this is a great setup. Uh, I really enjoy it. This particular one, let's just say um, for whatever reason, if you didn't want to run the brace, it is set up for QD points on either side, so you can run a wolf tail on this. If you just want to run a one point sling, you can do that. Also, what I really like about this setup too, they did upgrade the trigger. It's got this great flat shoe trigger and it breaks super, super, super clean, very little take up. I really do like the trigger on this particular gun quite a bit. So it seems, it seems, knock on wood, it seems, that they have worked out many of the issues that the Strybog has always been kind of known to have in there. Now, I will say this, my older Strybogs, both the SP9A1 uh, and the A3s uh, with the straight mags, I've never really had too many major issues out of them. Now, granted, I haven't fed like a ton of variety of different hollow points. 
So the issue with the earlier mags was mainly that there wasn't a lot of extra length in the magazine. So if you had a projectile that was maybe heavier or a little bit longer, or maybe a round that was slightly out of spec, it was causing some of those mags to have some minor feeding issues. So it looks like the curved mags has kind of helped with that. We'll shoot the gun a little bit more. And also real quick, um, I am running some new ear pro. Our friends at Otis Technology sent us out some of these ear shield rangers. Uh, they are electronic ear pro. Uh, very affordable, but decent, you know, good high quality, very comfortable. Try these out a little bit and do a little bit of shooting. We're shooting some 124 grain Bellon ball ammunition out of this Strybog here today. All right, man, this is sweet, dude. Yes, I love it. Right. <laughs> yes, dude, the recoil impulse on this thing is stupid controllable. Very easy gun to control, and I love that flat shoe trigger. Very, very easy to shoot. baby all right now from what i understand as well just a quick note is that uh these magazines are pretty affordable i want to say they're maybe just slightly south of 20 bucks or maybe just a little north of 20 bucks so they're in line with some of the scorpion offerings uh i'll quickly make a uh, mention of that uh, we did mention uh, i believe we actually did do another video where we tested some of the scorpion adaptable lowers in the strybog so even if let's just say for whatever reason you're not in love with the, with these mags which i don't really see a reason not to like them at this point that they got the kinks worked out but they can be adapted to other mags if that's something you want to do later all right let's have some fun one more mag and then we're going to reset i can't wait to try this thing out suppressed uh, i don't have a suppressor to drop on it today I wanted to, you know, really eliminate all the variables, but man, this thing is sweet. <laughs> man, look, this thing right here is a bullet delivery device. So in case you are not familiar with the Strybog in general, the way that the upper on this particular gun is made is very interesting. It's, it's like one continuous extrusion and then all the machining's done. You've got a pick rail on the bottom and top of the receiver section. So of course the, the lower is polymer, which is no problem. That kind of helps cut down on the weight, not to mention manufacturing costs to keep the gun a little bit more affordable. But um, dude, this is sweet. And look, I'm a big CZ Scorpion fan and I love the Scorpion Micro. It's a great gun, probably one of my favorite guns, but I don't know, this one is way smoother. I mean, it's a really cool setup right there. All right, we got a little bit of a variety of ammo we're gonna try out this time. We're gonna do, uh, as a control, uh, 30 more rounds of the uh, Bellom, 124 grain ammo. And then we're gonna move on to a couple of different brands of ammo to try it out here, test these mags out. Bellom, all right, this is 124 grain CCI Blazer. All right, same bullet weight, just a different brand. Steel case Red Army Standard, 115 grain. Dude. 
dude, get out of here. <laughs> wow. It's so weird going between the different weights of ammo. With the 115s, is like, there's so little recoil that it almost surprises you that the gun is actually cycling. You, you don't really expect it to be running right. That first couple of rounds, I was thinking, did, did that thing even cycle? Like that's how smooth the 115s were. And it's nice to know it'll eat some steel case uh, just fine too. I can't wait to throw a can on this thing and do some more work because you know the delayed stuff tends to do really well with suppressors. Um, I wanted to run this one loud just for, th for this particular video, but uh, yeah, man, um, look, here's the thing. Any time you've got something new that comes out, whether it's a new configuration of a gun, or maybe in this case, we've seen a few design changes, a few magazine changes and things, that's great. It's always good to improve a product, but always, always check your gear, test everything. It doesn't matter if you've got the highest end PCC or entry level, doesn't matter. Always take your equipment and vet it and play with it and have fun, but I love this setup. This is like an absolute killer backpack gun. I mean, look how compact that is. I mean, with the K, I, I love the, the shorter length. That's really, really nice. Definitely, definitely um, where I'd like to see it in terms of the accuracy. So, I mean, I, you know, is that to say that the, uh, that the Strybog has been redeemed? I, I don't know. I mean, based on what I'm seeing here, it looks like these things have uh, definitely fell into their own. I mean, think about all the random guns out there that have come out over the years and had some minor teething issues. I mean, it happens, right? So... I'm really happy to see that they take feedback from people because I know that was one concern like Tim at Military Arms Channel, for instance, was one of the guys that wound up kind of figuring out, wow, you know, these straight mags are giving a few little issues here and there. And then you report those issues and what happens? They fix it. So I do like uh, when companies really listen to what people are experiencing and try to correct those issues and move on. And I think that these guys have done a great job in putting out a really fantastic PCC for the money. Um, so. No complaints here. I'm digging it so far. I will be running it some more, and I'll let you guys know, um, you know what I think in time. We may revisit this one. But again, a big thank you from our friends at Gun Zone Deals. Go check them out. Really good folks. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. Um, I want to take a moment to thank all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing for supporting what we do. Thank you. Also, go over to Ballistic Inc. and pick yourself up a snazzy new t-shirt. That's one way that you can uh, support us directly, kind of like the one I'm wearing, and we got many others on the website. Have yourselves a great day. We'll see you soon. <laughs>